Top athletes from the nation's secondary schools will showcase their talent Friday as the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, stages Island Champs at the Sufre Mini Stadium. Director of Sports, Jim Xavier, was part of a delegation that visited the Sufre Mini Stadium Tuesday for a walkthrough to ensure everything will be in place to host the event. This year we are endeavoring to make it bigger and better. The, um, actually the, the prizes have gone up. Um, the winning team, boys champs, would be 20,000. Um, girls champs, 20,000. And there's combined champs, 10,000. So there's a lot to look forward this year. The excitement is building up. Sufra is getting ready. And we want to ensure the public that everything will be in place for a successful event on Friday. Facilities manager at the Sufra Mini Stadium, Nehemiah St. Jean is confident the facility will be in good shape to accommodate patrons and athletes attending Island Champs. We have tried our best to get the facility as prepared as possible for Friday. We've added some, some seating areas, um, put some added toilets and um, generally just get the tracks ready that to give the athletes the best possible um, area that they could, could show what they can do on the track. I know people had a lot of concerns, but you know the ministry is, is doing all they can to ease some of those concerns. We have tried to, to do all we can. Um, the aim of the ministry is to ensure that the athletes have the best possible um, facility to, to, to perform on. I mean, it's island champs, and we want the, the athletes to be on the best possible tracks, and we want the world to see them performing on the best possible track. Meanwhile, Anthony Laffey, a police officer attached to the traffic department at the Sufre police station is assuring the public that traffic flow issues and general safety will be given strong attention from his department. The traffic will be able to flow as smoothly as possible by means of traffic signs being placed on the Palmis Road, the new development road leading into the activity area at the mini stadium. Other officers will be at the grounds as well to ensure the safety of the athletes and patrons. Trying my best to make sure that the activity is a successful one, safe and without incident. I hope that our officers attend at full force to make sure that the event goes on without any problems, so to speak. A total of 20 schools are expected to field athletes at Island Champs, including students at the St. Lucia Sports Academy. The public can follow the meet live on the National Television Network and on the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports Facebook page. From the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I'm Ryan O'Brien.